So, it's uh, been a day since I uh, applied the paint on the bill. It's dry to the touch. And uh, I'm going to uh, work on a couple other areas that haven't been um, taken care of yet before I go and finish off the final um, shading on the bill. And I wanted to show you that I, I make a list when I get about to this point of the things that I have yet to do um, on a piece. Uh, that way uh, nothing's forgotten and I can kind of plan it out in the way that I would want to do it. They are in the order that I will be doing it. So today I'm going to add um, ivory black to the bill to the breast area and a little bit on the inside of the eye rings. I'm going to also apply uh, a small amount of iridescence on the head feathers and then I'm going to put splits on the transition area between the red head feathers and the black breast feathers. Then I'm going to clean up the bottom of the um, where I signed it and there's a little bit of overpaint that I need to take care of uh, and then I'm gonna do the final shading on the bill and then it can sit and dry with everything else so that's the plan um, forgive me if I deviate <laughs> that happens sometimes but uh, it's good to have a plan so, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, add some of the ivory black to my, le uh, to my uh, palette. And uh, this is going to be considerably darker than the uh, blackish, brownish black that I've been working with. So, I save uh, this dark black for the very end. Uh, in, in all aspects, whether it's uh, my shading or it's uh, uh, another reason um, for like a, a final coat can see there the difference in the color that I used as a base coat and the color that it's going to end up being. I see a little bit of a fuzzy here. My cats like to help sometimes. Anyway, so let's get uh, this black applied. Sometimes it's helpful to just put the piece down on the table. And then steady your hand. Sometimes the brush wants to pick up more paint than I want it to pick up. So that's what I just did with the paper towel was uh, just kind of get some of the volume of paint out. I usually start kind of small because the evening out can uh, make you go further and further up the bill of 
halves of this black area. So start small, he can always get bigger. And I'm also going to come back after this is set up for, say, an hour. And do a little bit of really light, soft blending. Uh, it is a <clears throat> irregular, hard line that I'm putting on here. So, uh, but... In some aspects, it's a little harder than than I'd like it to be. I'm just evening things off here. If you turn it and look at it from the opposite direction, like I just did, you can see better where you're maybe off on your symmetry. Again, trying to remain evenly uneven is always important. Carry this down over the tip. I never did have to use a special brush to get into the bill here, so that was kind of nice. They are nice to have on hand. All those brushes that bend at a right angle. Matching things up here. Continue on with the underside. Making sure I get in to the depth so that everything gets the same coats of color. Just like I did yesterday, I'm going to come back and do some dry brush blending.
so these little wrinkles and differences in color I just wanted to work into what I already have just so there's some anomalies Again, just going in those little circles, toning down. And I also wanted to do a little bit of blending in the nostrils. <coughs> Doodle. Better to be all black inside than to have little bits of blue showing. Not that it wouldn't happen, but uh, it just leaves uh, room for questions. Especially if you're competing. And again, you know, this is where we want to remain evenly uneven. Mm -hmm.